from Bug Eye Guys. Today we're talking about flip forward noses. So in the old days, back before we got involved and everyone else got involved and all the racers got involved, Bug Eyes, you twisted the lock here and you lifted the whole nose like this. And now that we've all aged a little bit and our backs are sore, there's a lot of demand for this option, which is to be able to flip the nose like so, this happens to be an electric bug eye. Try not to be distracted by that, it's a little bit different. But the nose is the focus of this little video. And I have to tell you, I added this flip forward conversion onto my own car just last year, because after lift lifting 3,000 of these over the years, my back's been getting a little sore. So this is a, a delight. And um, you know, for our demographic that loves these old cars, it's particularly delightful. But even if you're uh, a younger person who hasn't got a sore back yet, um, this is a great innovation for access. And that's why racers, even probably right back in the early 60s when Bug Eyes were first launched, they made this conversion because it was so much easier to get at everything under the hood. So it's a wonderful innovation. We can't recommend this highly enough. And it's an enhancement for the car that many people, other than purists, Obviously, we can't do this to the first bug eye or 501 because it's not correct. But for most of the other bug eyes that have been modified, this one, of course, extensively modified, this is a great innovation. So let's just take a quick look at the hinges. These hinges are mounted on this original bumper support. This is the frame rail from the front. These little frame horns are on every bug eye. They're awful, often bent. So sometimes you have to straighten them. Don't be distracted by this is the low voltage battery for the electric car, unconventional. But the frame rail is the same and it's mounted here. And this block is mounted right here on the nose. We've painted it on this particular car and the, the hinge piece is here. And then this little slide is what stops the nose from hitting the ground. So it gives you a, a defined stop which is what you need so that you can open the nose without retaining leashes. So it's pretty straightforward. And then because these were never designed to be hung this way, you tend to have a fair bit of flex in the nose. And we've been adding these little X braces in here, which we also sell. All this stuff is available in our parts catalog, bugeyeguyparts.com. So we have these X braces, which are welded to this component and also to the T section underside. And sometimes they crack here. This one's been welded here and here. We have another piece available that braces the headlight bucket to this piece because they crack. Remember, these all have been through, you know, thousands of cycles. So there are some age-related cracks at times, but it's, it's relatively easy to build a beautiful flip forward nose. It's nice to do it before the car is painted as we did here, but uh, in the end, you end up with a nice tracking nose. If you brace it, it tracks pretty consistently each time. And then to lower it, you try to lower it from the center. You use the cowl gasket. We have a really nice soft cowl gasket in our catalog. You use that and that catches the back edge of the nose and it closes like so. And then over here for the latches, we just use these simple straps. The, there need to be the rubber blocks here, which we also sell, and that catches the nose too. And then this strap is simply three sheet metal screws into the rocker panel, three through bolts into the fender wing, and then a leather hold down like so, this little buckle. It gives it a vintage look, and it's all you need, it's all you need to hold the nose down. They don't, they, they don't tend to move. It's a heavy enough piece that it sits just as you see. So let's walk over and look at the pieces. This is the hinge piece that you saw, which is rotating either one of these ways. And then this is that mounting block that was on the nose. These are the tracks that allow it to limit its throw and the hardware. And that is the flip forward nose kit that we sell here at Bug Eye Guys.